watching 8 News Now. Good day. Well, magicians are known to, uh, well, blow your mind with doing things like making things disappear up here, juggle knives, even, mm -hmm. oh gosh, eat fire. Well, Zach Petit uh, may dress like a CPA, <laughs> but what he does for a living is quite different. And he's, he's performing at the Mandalay Bay on, uh, what, you said Thursday through Sunday? Yes, ma'am, Thursday through Sunday. Okay, at Slice of Vegas. Slice of Vegas, yeah. And okay, so uh, you're not going to do my taxes. Uh, no, no, no. no. But, but you are going to impress me. I hope so. And, and everybody at home this morning. So how long have you been a magician? Uh, I've been doing magic or performing in some uh, capacity for about 20 years now. 20 years. What mm -hmm. got you interested in magic? Um, well, actually, so <laughs> uh, actually, I have to give this up to a guy named Jeff McBride. Uh -huh. uh, I saw his special on PBS and I was like, I can do this for a living? <laughs> like, that, you could do that? Let's do that. I want to do that thing. Uh, and so I, I, between that and the PBS special of Cirque du Soleil, uh, I was sold. From there on out, I knew that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so wh wh what are you doing here? You're working oh. with balloons. Uh, so this is during a belly dance convention. I, I take that balloon and I, uh, <laughs> I blow it up and then I swallow it. I swallow the whole what? balloon. That yeah. whole balloon? Yeah, yeah. It's, okay. It's a very popular trick amongst my friends. Okay. <laughs> I, I can only imagine. And I would say you're probably a cheap dinner date after that, too, because oh, you're full. Very full. Yes. Very full. Yeah. All right. Gassy, though. <laughs> yeah. It's unfortunate. So let's, uh, let's see what you're going to impress us with this morning because it is quite different, and hopefully the smoke alarms are not going to go on. That's just a little teaser <laughs> of true. what Zach's going to do. All go right, for here it. Here we go. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is light it up. Now, the first trick is something that uh, we in the fire performing industry call uh, what's called called a, <laughs> a hand transfer. So what's going to end up happening is I'm going to take a little bit of fuel, put it on my hand, literally light my hand on fire, and then light the torch well, on how fire. How did you do that? Yeah, a lot of practice and skill. Uh, yeah. Is that the magic part? That yes, we're not supposed to know bit. how you do that? Because it was very cool. <laughs> well, I don't want anyone trying this at home and thinking they, they understand how it's done. All right. Do we have the air conditioner on? It's hot in here. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Trick number two. Boom, he did that, two. people. Yeah. He really did that. I, yeah, saw, I saw that. That's a real thing. Let yeah. me see your tongue. Oh, show oh, everybody your tongue. I don't, I don't, okay. I don't get asked that very often. I'm really? very happy that that happened right now. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. Well, speaking of that, actually, the next trick is going to be on the tongue. It's what we call, well, it's a tongue transfer. It's where you, you literally light your tongue on fire. Oh. No. Oh. No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. Now, the last one, uh, I'm saving it for last because it's, uh, to be honest, it's one of the hardest tricks that I do. Um, it's a retention, and I'm going for the world record. I'm not going to try to do the, the, all the time right now because we'll be here way too long. Um, but I'm going to put this in my mouth, literally hold it as long as I can. <gasps> you know your beard's on fire, right? I'm just, uh, just saying. Yeah. Okay. And your nose hairs? Oh, oh my gosh. Woo! Thank you. Thank that you very much. That is amazing. That is Thank absolutely you. amazing. Oh, stop. Go no, on. I'm serious. A little more. I'm serious. Right, perfect. I'm no. <laughs> I'm, uh, burning hair, you don't smell that right now? No, no. Okay, I'm uh, just saying. It's actually a, a rite of passage that shows that you've been a, a fire performer for a long period of time if you can do it with full facial hair. Wow. Okay, so now just, just tell, the, tell us one thing. What is really the most important thing to do, seriously, a trick that dangerous? Uh, don't. <laughs> Most important thing you can do is don't do this thing. They really can't pay you enough. Um, well, there goes you, my night job. If you absolutely have to learn this thing, find a, a professional, learn from them so you can get the safety right. It's one of the things I like about the Slice of Vegas is they let me do this thing that is perceivably very dangerous, but they let me do it in a very, very safe way, and they've been able to help me out that way in the entire time. That is fantastic. Uh, can't wait to see your show. Thank you said you you've been there a year already. Been, yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm sorry. We're a little behind, but it's we need right. to come well, over. I was at a Cirque show for, for a long time. Oh, so, well, there you yeah. go. Yeah, absolutely. Go. Tell us the hours that you perform. Uh, from six to nine on Thursdays through Sunday. At Slice of Vegas. Slice of Vegas and the Mandalay Shops. All right, great to have you. That great was really fun. Thank yeah. you very much. Fire extinguishers, everybody? Uh, yeah, we All got right. one over there. Kirsten, <laughs> John, I think I know what we're doing, Nate. Uh, we have a date. That was fabulous. That was enlightening. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah.